Matt3756 Vlogs. What's up, you goober? Welcome to Matt3756 Vlogs. This is my second channel for anything and everything else besides my claw machine and arcade game videos on my main channel. So if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for, you dinker? Make sure you just click that subscribe button for just random videos, gaming videos, I mean vlogs, everything on the show. I'm, I'm talking about every freaking thing. So Planet Coaster is a game uh, developed by Frontier who developed Roller Coaster Tycoon. And this is Roller Coaster Tycoon to the next level. It's insane. Uh, this has been my obsession for like the past month and a half. I'll be honest, when this game first came out like an alpha, I was like, this is so bad. But they have really made a lot of improvements to this. I think it went into beta not too long ago. I really hope they keep updating this because they are on the right track with this game. <laughs> track, no pun intended! Shabang! But seriously, I mean, this game, the customization in this game is frickin' ridiculous. Like, you can freaking place these lamp posts by hand. I mean, I kind of wish they would have a snap to path for the lamp post, but that goes to show you the amount of customization in this game. It's unbelievable. So today, as the video states, I'm going to show you how to make roller coaster auto safety spiels. And if you don't know what those are, they're basically the little automated things when the train pulls into the station and says welcome to blah 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 keep your hands arms and egg eggs <laughs> keep your hands arms and eggs milk and bread inside the car at all times yeah stuff like that a lot of amusement parks have auto ones that when the train pulls in it will automatically start cedar point used to have them and then they got rid of them kind of bummed because i'm like such a big fan of roller coaster safety spills and if they're done correctly they can sound really really cool especially if they have cool music to go with it too so uh and you can do that in this game thanks to roller coaster triggers which if you click on a roller coaster and you go over here to triggers you can add triggers to any point on this track and this is not just for audio you can add triggers to special effects you can even trigger this freaking lamp post to turn on when the train goes through the loop i don't know why you would want to do that but God Almighty, the customization is just insane. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create the auto spiel itself. And there's multiple ways to do this. You can record it with your own voice if you want. You can get somebody else to do it. Um, and another easy way is to just go online and search uh, text-to-speech natural voice. And there's several websites here. Uh, this one probably has the most customization and the most voices uh, naturalreaders.com so just go in here and you oh, all you do is just type in what you want your auto spill to say so you can say welcome to magnum xl 200 and I mean I'm gonna I'm not gonna type the whole thing out because I already have one made but you can have it say whatever you want for as long as you want and you can test it here see what Ava sounds Welcome like. Welcome to Magnum XL 200. When the gates open, step carefully into the train. She has a nice soothing voice. I think she sounds pretty cool. I'm not going to record my own. I hate my voice. It's awkward. <clears throat> I should say, hey guys. Welcome to Magnum. Don't eat too much. Once you have all this typed out, I use this program called WavePad. It's like an audio editor. Um... And you can have it just capture your audio that's coming from your computer speakers by enabling stereo mix, which captures whatever plays from your speakers. And all you do here is hit record, go back to your natural reader, click play. Welcome to Magnum XL 200. When the gates open, step carefully into the train. Now once you're done, you click stop in your audio editor and you cut out the part with the voice and you go like this and you can play it. welcome to magnum xl 200 so that's your voice now you can have it just like this if you don't want any music if you want to keep it simple i mean you could do anything you want here i like to add them with music most of the time because it like that creates the theming and makes it more legit like millennium force has such awesome music for example that techno and it just oh it's just amazing so what i'm gonna do what then you do is just save this, so we can just call it 
Spiel. <laughs> that's not even how you spell it, but that's how I'm spelling it, so shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Drop it into your folder. So you go to Documents, uh, Frontier Developments, Planet Coaster, User Music, and here's all your things in here. And you just drag and drop it right in there. So we're going to take this one here. This is Magnum XL200. I made this. This does not look like the Magnum XL200 to Cedar Point at all. But this is kind of just my quick little version of it. Um, but I really liked how this turned out because not only that, you can sync lights to the station and triggers as well. And you can make this freaking legit. Like it's insane. Um, Millennium Force actually used to have a really, really cool uh, auto spiel. And then they took it out after a couple years after it opened. It sounded so freaking cool. They had the techno music playing and it was just... Everything just meshed well together, and I'm so freaking bummed they got rid of it, but I can relive my youth making roller coaster safety spills in this game. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it and how to do it the right way. So there's a couple ways to do it, and after tinkering with it a while, I found a way that's uh, pretty legit. So once you have your coaster built, completely built, um, test it out, make sure it works, obviously. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go to Scenery, and you're going to look up Sequencer. S just type in SEQ, it'll pop up. Display Sequencer. Um, <clears throat> this is the most effective way to keep your safety spills consistent. And what I mean consistent is you can use a speaker, because you can now add custom music to triggered speakers, which is a park, if you look up park speaker dash triggered, it's this one. You can do it with these. However, due to however the game's programmed or whatever, I don't know if they're going to fix this in the future. But if you go, if your camera, like if you're, say, I'm away from the coaster station, you wouldn't be able to hear the music. Say I'm over here. And then say I come back to the roller coaster, there will be no mus music playing. Um, and also for some reason with the triggered speakers it only plays every other train which is weird I don't know if that's a bug or what but it's no big deal because I found a better way that plays it consistently no matter where you're at in your park every single auto spiel will play consistently as if it's real time because I got one on here I don't have any music to this one it's not that good but you can hear it faintly but as you can see, it's timed perfectly no matter where my camera is at in the game. So you're going to want to use the sequencer for this, not the display or the park speaker triggered. So once you have this, you're going to click on it, you're going to go to audio, and then you're going to go to your music tab here, click the drop down arrow, and in your user music, which is a folder inside the game, you just follow the path here. It's in my documents, Frontier Developments, Planet Coaster, slash user music. So you click that and you click this little folder. This is going to have all of your uh, spiels. And I have a ton of them. <laughs> so we're going to click the... Uh, let's see here. God, I got way too many in here. Magnum, Spiel, Stereo. Click OK. And uh, now here's a, here's another weird thing. This display sequencer, and I don't know if it's supposed to do this, actually plays music without attaching a park, park speaker dash display. Um, so, I mean, you don't really need one of these, but you can put one in your station if you want just like for visual aesthetics. So then what you'll do is you'll go to... And you can put this anywhere. Um, you can attach it to your station. I like to just attach this to the building to wherever I want the audio to come from. So we can put it about somewhere like right here. Because I have an, another speaker here as well. But like I said, you don't really need the speaker. For whatever reason, this thing here plays your audio without a speaker. So, so we're just going to attach it to the building there. Now we're going to edit. Edit the building and then click on this again. And now you're going to do activate on trigger. Activate only on trigger. Make sure that's checked. And now what you're going to do is you have to find out how long your auto spiel is. So this one I believe is around like 43 seconds. 
So what you'll do is um, you'll make trigger sequence, click on that, this will pop up, and you add a display group. You click on that, now you enter in seconds here how long your auto spiel is before it loops, because if you if you put in like three minutes and your auto spiel is 30 seconds, it's just going to loop over and over. You only want it to play one time and then fade out and not play again until the next train comes in. So let's try 44 seconds. And what, what's nice is you can play, you can test your sequence. So just click play and drag your bar to the end and just make sure it ends. So let's see. So we could do about 42 seconds should be perfect. The music just stops playing, fades out perfectly. Yep, that's it. So f 42 seconds is how long mine is. Mine has a little bit of music over this, which makes it sound really, really cool. And wait till you guys see it at night with the lights. It's going to be insane. So once you're done with that, just click Done. Now what you have to do is you have to create a trigger sequence on your roller coaster to trigger this audio here that's really easy so you just click on your roller coaster hit edit triggers or edit trigger sequence or it might say create because I already have it created here and I don't feel like deleting this because I have all my lights configured already so um, and basically what this is is soon as the train the roller coaster train crosses this wherever this is and you can just click and drag on this anywhere in the track I have it about right here because it's timed perfectly with the spiel and the lights whatever is triggered here is, will trigger now this here this column here is how much of a delay before the specific item is triggered so this is a scenery item which is a light and you can hover over it and you can see it lights it up over here and which one it is this one turns on instantly. This one delays us one second, two seconds. And you're going to see why these delay at night because they turn on one at a time. That's why I have these like that. So what you're going to do is connect your uh, sequencer to this trigger. Or you could do a separate trigger too, you know, depending on your lights. I'm just going to attach it to this trigger because it's going to trigger the same time these lights turn on. So it's going to ask you to select your scenery. Just select your little display sequencer, which display which plays your auto spiel and music. Click confirm. And now you'll see. Now since I have all this other stuff in here already, this one's delayed nine seconds. You don't want that. You want it to play immediately. Or depending, you know, this is customizable. I want mine to play immediately, so I'm going to hit zero. So that'll now play immediately. So uh, let's hit. All you got to do then is hit done. And test your roller coaster out so you can time it perfectly. And you can drag the, your uh, trigger sequence. You can drag this uh, track trigger anywhere on your track. So you, I, I have it about right here because it's timed perfectly. As soon as the music's done playing, the train departs, the lights turn off, it's perfect. So I'm going to leave it right there. Click done. Now I want to go to nighttime because I want to show you guys the lights. Alright, so got re got this ready. Now as the train pulls into the station, you're going to hear the music turn on. You're going to see the lights sequence how I program them. And you're going to have a roller coaster auto safety spiel just like the ones found, or heard I guess I should say, in a lot of amusement parks. Check this out. See there's the train. As you can see the lights are turning on one by one. When the gates open, step carefully into the train. When seated, please find and fasten the black seat belt. Hold on to the grab bar until the ride comes to a complete stop. Hats, glasses, and all other loose fitting items must be secure. Keep your hands, arms, and legs inside the car at all times. Thank you, and enjoy your ride on Magna MXL 200. As you can see, the music fades out, train departs, and the lights turn off one by one until pitch black, until the next train comes in. Is that not insane or what, man? Now, you can tr you can make these lights do anything you want. I just This was my first time messing with the lights and a train coming into the station to do it. I mean, you could, the, the sky's the limit with this track trigger. 
but that's how you trigger a roller coaster auto safety spill. Now, if you'll notice, here comes the next train. It's not going to play that safety spill again until that train pulls in, just like real roller coasters. Now, listen. You're going to hear it again turn on. As soon as it crosses that track trigger, the music will start playing. Watch, and the lights will start going. Welcome to Magna MXL 200. When the gates open, step carefully into the train. When seated, please find the There it is. Is that insane? Now, if I go away from here and go somewhere else in my park, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's a merry-go-round. Everybody hates this ride for some reason. And I come back. See, it's playing exactly as it should be. It's not lagging or nothing. Watch. Train departs, and that's it. It'll do that no matter where you're at in your park. So say I'm like way over here, blah, blah, blah. It keeps track of everything. And that's why you have to use the display sequencer if you want them more consistent. And that's how to do roller coaster auto safety spills the proper way in Planet Coaster. It sounds the most realistic ever. Like Frontier is so awesome because they listen to their people. Like... A roller coaster triggers are something that I have wanted since like Roller Coaster Tycoon. I mean, the idea is ingenious to trigger lights and audio. And thank you for watching, guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, click that like button, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully it sparks some ideas for you and some creativity in Planet Coaster. This game is addicting as heck. The customization is just un freaking real in this game hope you found this useful and thanks for watching subscribe and click that bell icon to become a fellow goober and check out some of my other videos right here